Hey guys, what's up? This is Nuke Spoiler here, and today we're going to be starting a new campaign. As... Here we are. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just completely start it over. So, we're actually going to be playing as Albania um, uh, in the Victoria 2 Pops of Darkness mod. Uh, so, this is with Hearts of Darkness and then the mod on it. Now, the only thing. Uh, and I will put the Pops of Darkness mod link in the description below. Uh, the only thing that I did, though, is that I changed the Pop of Darkness mod. I actually uh, uh, deleted the script of immigration where um, you you can only be in North American power to do that. Because uh, I think that's pretty stupid. Um, but regardless, some, uh, some EU4, but we are going to be... Uh, or some some of you for some uh, Victoria too. Oh my God! Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's let's get this started. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to encourage uh, clergymen to keep our the people of Albania all literate and educated. Uh, followed by um, this clergyman over here, clergyman in uh, Thessalia. There we go, and we're actually going to be building some, just any factories, uh, show empty states in Albania, just build whatever is cheap and will work for us. I think I started by having canned foods, uh, I think fabric, um, you know, anything that works, uh, rum, no. Gunpowder, no. So, I, I would make a tutorial. So, I'll, I'll explain to you a bit of uh, how the game works. And if not, I'll post probably post a link where you can sort of skip that sort of stuff. Um, so, let's get let's start on this. So, uh, Victoria 2 is, is, a, is a game made by Paradox. It takes place between the 1800s to like 1930, I think. Or 25 something like that uh, and the idea is hold on sorry all right the idea is that you know it sort of plays historically like it's supposed to be and so you have your population which break down you have your different politics with social political reforms all these different movements uh, building factories and that sort of stuff um, and that is, uh, so, and, and it's really, really cool. Uh, but there were some issues in the base game. However, we'll be in, we'll, uh, this game, the mod has definitely improved on quite a bit. Uh, so, with that in mind, we are going to make an attempt to sort of, um, to sort of play that out in, in, in this sort of time frame. Uh, so this affects your factories because, you know, Albania has all these different resources and if you buy these resources locally, it'll cost cheaper. And of course, then you could also put your terrace, which, uh, you know, is an extra cost on imported goods, um, which go to the national treasury, which sort of encourages, encourages local consumption. Anyway, it's, it's, it's all very complicated. But just know that I know what I'm doing. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Sort of. Mostly. Not really. But I sort of do. Uh, so I'm also going to be cheating a little bit. Uh, as I'm going to be improving this Albanian stuff all around here. Um, but that's just because, you know, I'm a bastard. Uh, we're also going to be building in Albania some proper... Uh, troops, let's uh, let's start with maybe two infantry, mobile artir artillery, and then here just just and again, all this is just sort of to favor myself and I. In regards to all this stuff. All right, and let's uh, let's get this game ticking. So we're just gonna try to breeze through all this stuff here. Uh, 
Let's see, we are gonna want to go for... I think, is it Freedom of Trade that we want to get? Is it Malthusian? I think it's Malthusian Thought that we want to get. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so let's go and get that. You know, and there's this war in Tripoli, and we're probably gonna... We have to try to play it to win it and all this stuff and soon we're gonna have the Egyptian event this just just ignore this stuff it's all just a farce you know to sort of you know and yes yes we can attract immigrants that is beautiful because that's exactly what we need and all that is for my uh, well, as you know, I am a Shippuri Setnike, and, uh, well, anyway, this this will be very interesting. We'll see how this works in conjunction with the game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure, moralism, something. Sure. Checking the populations, the ethnic populations around here. Interesting. And yes, we're going about to lose our great power status. That is fine. This is all good. And yeah, so we're just going to blitz through it, you know. Doesn't really matter that much. Uh, really. Just sort of blitz, 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 blitz. We do want to get Malthusian thought, however. But apart from that, uh, you know, nothing else that we really, really need. And we are building fast. So again, I mean, we're cheating a little bit. But it's just to save us some time. Which is good, I suppose. This is pretty important, too. Um, nah, three, uh, four. And all this stuff is relatively good. Gives our nation all nice and happy and stuff. And yes, I am going to be checking the populations frequently, just to see the balance between either the next and see what I can do. I'm really trying to create a greater Albania here, and uh, most of that work is already going to be done for me, and you'll see why. Thankfully, this game is actually pretty historical in regards to that stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's good. There we go. So we next Tripoli, you know, and we get to do the right of man or some some ideas here. You know, again, blitzing through this stuff, don't really care. We just want to rush that Malthusian thought, and that's really all we need in regards to that. And uh, again, to get rid of this and to promote the immigration script, all you need is um, there's and I, I can I can show a video for that too if anybody's really really interested in it, but it's honestly not that complicated. So we're going to be improving most of these factors here. Again, it could be anything. We're just improving those ones just to uh, encourage. Um, Holy, I know what I'm doing. Just you guys, just, you guys just gotta trust me on this. 
and uh, I'll get the job done. Okay. Be improving that one. Factory two. I wonder where. Uh, trying to find where this guy might be. Soldiers from Bursa, Bursa, Constanta, Volos, Kars, Volos, Geos, Salonica, Scorpia, Sofia, Salon, Trabizon. Salonica, Burgess, Istanbul, Volos, Baghdad, Salonica, Mosul, Mosul, Konya, Volos, Present, nope, Redif, Habib, 1179, Fuck. That's uh, so 179. I think it's these two. Perfect. All right, just doing my thing. So again, you don't, this stuff really doesn't matter that much. Just, just know that, you know, uh, you want to sort of locally build this up, increase, you know, all the people, um, all the, uh, ooh. Uh, all that emigration. That's pretty nice. So we'll see how the migration script works out. Uh, and there we go. Um, and now I feel very comfortable in uh, releasing uh albania after i just promote these factories to start building up give me a sec we're gonna just buy some of this stuff locally good 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 all right let's uh let's let's do it so you just go to this screen go to politics all right release nations tirana play ass and you'll see uh well that's not that great uh, they fucking took all our boats, but, and they didn't even, okay, well, that was a bit fucking retarded, but, uh, at least we got our five troops done, so we're gonna get the right of man, and we see this thing called claim greater Albania, we need to have prestige at least 45, and then we'll get a claim on this province, uh, Ulinche, something like that, um, and as you can see, we can even increase tension in some of these areas. Uh, so one of the things I'm going to be doing is sort of build this up locally. Uh, so all forts, boom. Build up the port in Villara. 
and, um, and I wish I could name rename some names here, but we just sort of can't. Build some forts. At least these factories are building. Uh, and now we're gonna increase tariffs on it a shit ton, make a ton of money, tax the fuck out of the people here. Uh, you know, tax here, tax here. And then we're going to keep on educating our people. Well, that's what clergymen do. They're basically teachers. Uh, and then we're going to be also educating these people up in Albanian, quote-unquote, Albanian southern Serbia. Um, which is good. So people from Yanina are now migrating over there. And people are leaving this place. It's sort of good because there are Greeks living around here. Um, all right. Now, we're also going to need to build some transports, and hopefully this will go through well. I know sometimes it creates a, cl a clog. Okay, good. This is perfect. Next, we want to get, and our Malthusian thought did come through. That is, this things are going pretty good right now. Uh, we also want basic chemistry, because it will give us some, post uh, some pop growth. Oops, and I built one ship too many. There we go. Perfect. Now, we're also going to be trying to build factories up in the other uh, regions. So, up in uh, Shkupe, in uh, Kosova, and uh, Chamery. And we can just do that. We're going to be going a bit into debt. But thanks to private investors, we'll be fine. Next, we're going to need to uh, in uh, increase uh, relations on the world stage because that's sort of what you do uh, so you don't get invaded or attacked or harassed by anybody so we're doing that and things are going off to a good start where we just sort of declared our independence or you know sort of uh, broke off and uh, yeah I think this the idea of them immigrating out of there is a good idea um, yeah, it sort of sucks that a lot of people are emigrating to the North America, but it's like, what can you do? Um, you know, that just happens. And we're going to be continuing to build the factories everywhere, along everywhere and everything. Bakeries, sure, just... Because the idea is that they have to import goods, you tax those import goods, and you make money off that tax, which is extremely profitable. And speaking about profitability, uh, we are now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit tricky. We're actually going to be uh, declaring war on some of these primitive fucks over here. Uh, no offense if anybody is from this places, but sorry, you have some really nice fucking valuable shit. And, uh, yeah, so get on my level. Do we have any generals that we could maybe take? Nope. There we go. That costs us 11. Let's keep on building more factories, fuck it. Ooh, that one was a bit bad. Yeah, that cost us quite a bit. Oh well. Say that beat. Okay, and now we're gonna be taking our boats and now we're gonna be floating them over to Oyo when we are gonna be invading them. I'm just sort of watching the pops and making sure that uh, everything is good. Again, another thing that I'm worried is when I took off that script, if hopefully doesn't throw everything off too badly, like you start seeing like some weird shit, but you could do it in the base game, so I don't see what the big issue is in taking it out. And not to say completely ripping it out, but only leaving it for North America. I don't know. That seems kind of obscure to me, but that's just me, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so now we're moving our boats over and shit. 
Uh, things are going good in the proverbial hood, as some people would say. Not I, because that term is fucking stupid. But, you know. Okay. Um, close. And they are allied to Arrow, which are these fucks. Again, primitive, so. Uh... Declare war, establish protectorate. We got this. Uh, and let's just march. Another good thing about this is when it comes to the infamy thing, uh, it's a lot better. Where, um, like, if you're a great power, it sort of ticks faster, and it's pretty good. And we continue building up our factories. Because that's good. Alright. Now let's hope our boats don't fucking die. They might. But let's just pray. Uh, we owe the Mexicans 10 bucks. So there we go. Paying that off. Well, it's going to be watching our clergymen. Ideally, we want to have 2% of our population be teachers. That just works out really well. Uh, and that's what the game recommends, so I recommend that too, subsequently. Subs subsequently. What the fuck off? Uh, so our boats are going to die, which sucks. Uh, so I need to build more boats. There we go. Want to have them equally distributed across. Uh, we can also insert classism. Gets us some prestige. Prestige is nice. Uh, and we're also going to be trying to have like a shit ton of reforms and stuff so that. Um, um, so that we can get a lot of immigrants. And that's just because immigrants are really profitable. So that's what we're going to be doing. Still a lot of people migrating out of this place. and But it is changing the, um, the, the culture and the population around here. Uh, so our population is fairly split up here. We got 68% Albanian, 13% Greek, 7% Serb. We're also going to try to kill these fucks. We'll see how we do. They are primitive. There we go. Perfect. We're also going to be trying to build a regular here. Let's see how that works. And yeah, he's building over almost 2% there. Uh, man is clearly dangerous, of course. What did I select? Tirana? Yeah. Tirana. Go. More immigrants coming over here. We're going to try to see if we can cleanse those Turkish populations. Basic chemistry is going to come in. That'll boost our population massively. Which is phenomenal. Now, that's not what I needed to fucking do. There we go. Oh, and our troops magically disappeared. Okay, and one of them flat out disbanded. Okay, I don't know what that was about. I'm going to be rebuilding him. We're going to be trying to kill them off before they siege off that port. We got our medicine, which is good. Now we're going to be moving to idealism because extra research points are good. Now we're going to be continuing to siege over Ife or Eif or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called. And now the bullshit happens where it doesn't construct things for some reason, which sucks. So let us go for, um, I guess, an artillery. And that should be able to be fine unless it bottlenecks again. It bottlenecks again. Because uh, it can't find goods locally to buy. Which reminds me, 
uh, go to your trade thing and make sure you have people buying from the stockpile, which is, that's pretty important. Uh, lose that war exhaustion just in case if there ever was there. Come on, don't fuck me over. It's fucking me over, isn't it? Come on, artillery. Yeah, it is fucking me over. That is pretty fucking retarded. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to actually go with re irregulars. Which, you need timber to fucking supply the motherfucker. Whatever. That happens, I guess. Uh, and what is costing us a shit ton? Probably teachers. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Economic boom. No, nope, we're not being sieged, and I can tell based on this. Alright, now we're going to be moving over here. We have the port, so that's all good. And once we get those people on our dominion, that'll be great. And we also are fucking floating a lot of diplo points. Um, but, but since this is an EU fort, you can have as many as you want. And you don't have to spend that on tech. That's what research points are. So you just spend them on relations. Or what they're actually for. And how is our teaching rate? It's actually going pretty fast for this stage of the game. 0.2 people are being, um, um, the fuck. Uh, wow, yeah, we're definitely cleansing these fucks here slowly. That is good. That is really good to see. Uh, because we don't tolerate them. Uh, right. Uh, so there's this billion built. Our, we're slowly uh, hemorrhaging a little bit in terms of the economy. Not surprised. Why the fuck do we have troops like that? Or, or our defense spending like that. We don't need our defense spending to be like that. It's good. It's good. We need to improve our administration efficiency. So let's do that. They also... So you encourage bureaucrats. They also contribute. Yeah, bureaucrats contribute to that sort of stuff. We've been educating people here. Let's go for Bitola. Um, there we go. Yeah, and uh, it would be really good to have uh, efficiency be at 100%, obviously, for obvious reasons. After idealism, we are actually going to try to go for uh, ideological thought, uh, because we want political reform, because, again, it has a lot of perks to that. Um, and there is, a, there is actually a way to sort of uh, entice people. Uh, uh, political reform to happen and I'll show you that trick too um, All right, now we just broke out the capital we're gonna keep on fucking sieging them over there uh, We're getting more bullshit being passed through naval bases forts that sort of stuff Tax farm yay more money. Thank you Keep on trying to build up some of these things Increase factory size debt Pay off debt. Life gets better. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to be finishing off uh, Oyo over here. And I suppose that'll be a good time to put in. We're going to be starting off the second episode. Uh, so let's just do that then. <laughs> It's nice to see our population increasing heavily. Uh, work uh, harder. You want to have. You, we actually want to have um, uh, consciousness go up. So. Ooh, Albanian Thessalia is actually starting to really uh, turn. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit. It's nice to see. Alrighty then, so watch our income just skyrocket after we annex these fucks. Uh, skyrocket. There we go. Now we... Alright, that scared me for a second. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.